Good morning. I just woke up. My husband took my daughter to school and straight in the house and has laundry going. So it's, it's going to be a good day, y'all. It's going to be a good day. We're starting off with coffee. I am making my cup right now. If you know, you know. I like Coffee Mate sugar free creamer. This is three tablespoons for two points. I use two to three points a cup. I'm only gonna use one cup today because me and my husband are gonna go to the gym and I just have a feeling there's gonna be some pre-workout. So one cup today and I'm adding my Ovacetol for my insulin resistance. I just weighed in. I have been on WW for 10 weeks now and I have been down 14 pounds, which normally I'm less than a pound kind of girly. I do think some of that has to do with going back to work. So I'm just physically more active. I'm just moving more. And then I think the other part is my uh, getting insulin resistance under control. So I'm very, very happy with that. I'm only 2.8 pounds down from my most recent lowest. It'll be very exciting to get past and through that number into the 170s. Just feel it like we got it. Y'all have not been perfect throughout these 10 weeks. I've eaten out several times. I've had a few drinks. I've not been perfect. You don't have to be perfect to have success. You just need to be consistent. I started off this week. If you saw my last what I eat in a day, I, it's the same week. Uh, it's just the end of that week. So I told you, I started off the week like with two days that like I blew all my weeklies and I was probably a little bit negative in my weeklies. And I think if you're an all or nothing kind of person, you would have just said, well, I've already blown it for the whole week. I might as well just get back on next Monday. But I didn't do that. I said, what the heck? I'm just going to get back on it and try to stick to my dailies as best as possible. And I lost three pounds this week. So get rid of that all or nothing and realize like lifestyle change means you're gonna have some good days, you're gonna have some bad days. Give yourself some grace, uh, but also a kick in the butt. You can do it. So let's go have our coffee. I wanted to quickly share my weight chart because I had someone message me. They had worked really hard and they weren't down for a week and they asked me if that was normal. I just wanted to show you that you can see here, I am obviously down like 15 pounds since starting, but it is not a perfect slope down. There's bumps and grooves and it's not gonna be a perfect slope. You're gonna have ups and downs and that's perfectly normal. Now on to breakfast, I'm having my Better Oats 100 calorie maple brown sugar oatmeal that I like to put one tablespoon of just raw pumpkin seeds on for zero points. And I'm also taking this elderberry from Motivate you know, sickness is all around and I'm trying to stay healthy here. So I've been giving these a try. I realize this is not a new breakfast, but that is one thing that I think really helps with success. Um, having enough change to have variety so you're not bored with your food, but having those staples that you really enjoy, that you know are low points and just keep them here. Because I planned on making breakfast sandwiches for this video. Do not feel like making eggs it's not going to happen so i have a fallback i can still stay on track and not have to put in the effort so just think about that uh really find something you like for breakfast lunch and dinner that you can keep like i uh last night i was not feeling well i made those black and chicken strips and i made you know pre-packaged macaroni and a can of green beans and that was dinner and it was still like seven points for my serving. You can stay on track even if plan A doesn't go right. So I'm gonna go eat plan B and enjoy it because I really like this meal. And if you're thinking about, maybe I wanna start Weight Watchers, so I'm gonna watch some videos. I do have a link below uh, for three months free just so you can try it. It gives me a month free if you use that link. It's just to refer a friend. So like if your sister, your neighbor, anyone you know, is on Weight Watchers, they can get that link too. So it's not anything fancy, it's just the regular invite a friend link to Weight Watchers. You get three months free to try it. I get a month free, it helps support my channel if you want to sign up that way. But if you don't, keep coming back for content ideas, I got you. So now I'm gonna eat and I lied, I totally got a second cup of coffee. I'm gonna do a no stem pre-workout, which means no caffeine in my pre-workout. That's what I decided because the coffee was so good and I drink it way too fast. So second cup and uh, we have made modifications to our plan. I have no idea what we're eating for lunch, but I do know what we're having for dinner. It, it. Yeah, we're gonna have jerk chicken tacos for dinner. So stay tuned because yum, and they're easy. They're a lot easier than you'd think they'd be. So 
again, simple variety. Key to success, man, I'm telling you. My husband went to get his hair cut. I had, I had great plans. I was gonna put away laundry, take a shower, get ready to go to the gym. You know, and I was, I just, I got on Instagram. I wanted to respond to a couple comments and um, I got sucked in. I got sucked into the vortex. And then I realized 20 minutes later that I need to now refluff the laundry and uh, I don't have time for a shower. You know, showers are for tonight anyway. I have hair that I haven't washed in three days. I have legs that I haven't shaved in three days. Uh, I've washed my body. Like, we're doing okay. But yeah, that's what, uh, that's what full, full length leggings are for. And uh, what hats are for, okay? Problem soft. I am gonna do makeup because I'm becoming that girl, right? I used to be terrified that if I did my makeup before going to the gym, that I just have like these sweat lines of foundation and that doesn't happen. So we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it quickly because he'll be here any minute and I still haven't put away laundry. He didn't ask me to do it, but he did so much this morning. But I just feel like now I feel obligated to be a good wife. So yeah, all right, let's hurry. Hair's going under a hat, so we can just make it look real sad right now. I love the Tarte, the face tape. Just need a little bit. This is actually probably gonna be too much. Great thing about getting a foundation from a place like Ulta or Sephora is you can color match because anyone else find it impossible to color match from the drugstore. I've tried so many times. It never comes out right. And I'm sure it's because the, the shade range isn't as well. And I like to, I'm having like more texture and stuff in the middle of my face. I'm at this weird point in my age where it's like I've always been oily and I'm still oily in some parts, um, but the my face texture and just the amount of oil I produce is changing as I get older. I haven't quite figured it out. So I like to go around my face first. And then we'll just like whatever is left on here. That's what I put here. And it just helps less texture to show through. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit down my neck, which isn't really mandatory since this shade does match me really, really well again. If I'm wanting like a more medium coverage foundation, I like the Maybelline Fit Me, but I'm gonna go in with the Shape Tape from Tarte. And uh, that'll, that'll be enough. Trust me, trust me. I don't like it to look like cement under my eye and that stuff, it, uh, it's pretty aggressive. I'm gonna put it on my eyelid too, just to, to be like a primer for my eyeshadow. So I find less is more. Then I have just Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm just gonna shake some, it's my little litty lid. I got a little puff thing on Amazon. And I'm just gonna pat some in. And then I'm gonna wipe it on the back just to get it more evened out. And that's why I'm gonna set my under eye in these like oily spots on my face and my eyelid so that my eyeshadow doesn't crease. Look at us, he's not home yet. We're doing so good, y'all. Spooky season. Are you getting ready for Halloween? Days. The Tarte Shape Tape, this is in cool bronze because I like to brontour. I ain't, ain't got time to contour and bronze at the same time. Heck no. Just like an angled brush. I got a little crazy. Oh, I got a little crazy. This stuff though, it blends like a dream, so we'll, we'll be able to fix that. I like to use whatever is left on the brush just to give a quick little contour to my nose and then I go back over with my foundation uh, sponge just whatever's left on the sponge to help even out that bronzer I got the elf putty blush this is in Bora Bora I think Bora Bora this is tricky when you buy this you gotta like really break down that top layer just aggressively man I like pinch it 
and then do like the bridge. Got a little ColourPop highlighter. This is in the Flexitarian. This stuff, little, little goes a long way. But it's like a natural highlight. See how like you can get it intense if you want intense. I just barely put any to make it more natural. Just I use this to highlight underneath my eyebrow and then in my inner corners as well. For my eyes, what I use the majority of the time is this Naked Reloaded. I'm a neutral kind of gal. But if you're looking for a budget friendly, I really like this Bone Coconuts by ColourPop. It is gorgeous. These shimmers, stunning. So I use that quite a bit too. On those shimmers, you will get some fallout though, like down here. So maybe put a little extra powder so you can wipe it away easily. All right, I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna mix Bucked and Boundaries. I'm just using a really fluffy brush just to get all of this in my crease and a little bit into my outer corners. This is not any fancy eye look. This is my, I gotta get out the door quickly eye look. I'm gonna go in with Blur. This is like my skin tone. Maybe a little bit darker because I am white. I'm just gonna like literally blur out that line that I made. That eyeshadow. Just kind of going up. I don't need to do any highlights. I already threw my highlighter up there. I'm gonna do, yeah, it's be fun. I'm gonna do Reputation. She's pretty. I just like to use my finger for these. And then I'm gonna use Angel Fire just right in the middle. it up. Angel fire. I want to name eyeshadows. That sounds like a fun job. Mine would be like brown and it would be like potatoes. Uh, oh yeah, like oh yeah. Burnt ends on a dark brown. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm getting hungry. We gotta stop that. I'm gonna do end game, which is the dark brown. Fix it a little bit and darken up this lash line and into this little outer V section here. Take it in like just this very outer portion of my eye, add a little dark brown right there, kind of connect it. Now I'm going to go back in with those previous two colors just to put that underneath my eye and and really smudge it out. Now I'm just gonna blend again with a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with the Essence Extreme Lasting Liner in brown. I'm gonna do a tight waterline on both of my eyes and then use the nude color to do the bottom of my eyes. Now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. was it Brow Wow Gel, I think. Uh, this is the brown color. I used most of the color in the middle of my arch to make that part the darkest and whatever's left over I use to fill in the ends of you know like the inner corners of my brow now i'm going to go back with that liner and tight line my liner like right along the lash line and then add a little extra dot right at the corner of my eye that i can then smear upward and then i just pat out what i don't want to show of that wing then i'm going to use an angled brush just to smudge it all and get it nice and blendy I had a little bit of fallout, so I'm taking a really fluffy brush and just really lightly brushing away anything that might have fallen onto my cheeks. And we have two eyes, so let's do this eye as well. Now we're gonna go in with a setting spray. I'm using the e.l.f. coconut one. I love the way this smells, but I am looking for one that will help make my makeup stay longer than this. So if you have a recommendation, put it below. Now I'm gonna use the NYX liner. This is in Peekaboo Neutral. I'm just going to use this to outline my lips and then do a little bit extra in the corners of my lips as well. Then I'm going to use this Urban Decay Native Lipstick. It's just a really nice net neutral pinky nude. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. And if you're looking for a really good drugstore mascara, this Milani Anti-Gravity is really great. Uh, it takes a couple times to get used to how to use it, but I'm going to use this one from L'Oreal The Unlimited because I showed it in my last haul. So let's see how this looks.
here's what we look like with actual lighting. I really love that bronzer. I feel like it gives me like shape and color without being like, oh, nice bronzer. Again, you could saw like how easily it was to blend out. I wanted to try that mascara on camera for you because I did buy it at my haul video and it's supposed to be a dupe for the benefit, the benefit bad gal bang mascara. I think it's pretty close. I don't think it gives you the same natural curl. Like when I use the benefit one, I don't have to curl my lashes and I get a beautiful curl and it stays. Um, but it's $25 and it's been drying out really quickly. That one's $12 and um, I have to curl my lashes, but it still gives me a really beautiful look. I don't mind spending 30 seconds curling my lashes. So that's the review on that. Um, so I bought my tennis shoes at that same time and 10 out of 10 would recommend. My Achilles heel is doing so much better now that I've been wearing those. So highly recommend that. Yeah, there we go. We're so put together. Who, who is she? Who is she? Working has been great for me. If you are new here, because I have several people who are new here, I was a stay-at-home mom for a decade, and I just went back to work this summer. And uh, it kicks my butt, but it's been great. I like it a lot. I am not ready for full-time. I was a pharmacy technician, and when I'm ready to go back full-time, I might go back and re-get my certification. But since I was a stay-at-home mom for 10 years, I let it lapse. So for now, I am cutting fruit, making guacamole, ranch, all that for HEB, and I really like it, actually. Uh, it suits my personality because I get to be just with a few people in a cooler by myself, and I'm an introvert, so that works for me. So, all right. Time to make my pre-workout and get my tennis shoes on, and we'll be ready to go to the gym. Uh, as far as how much I've been working out, my job is active. I've been working three to four days a week, so I'm working out one to two days a week. It might just be a walk. It might be yoga. It might be doing some kind of mobility movement just to make sure my hips and back and all that don't lock up. A lot of times it's a combination of all those and also like to lift weights. I've been lifting weights about once a week for the last five weeks or so um, just because I need movement for my mental health and my physical health. My joints and muscles get really, really achy and sore if I don't move on my days off. So I like it. And I used to be really strict going to the gym three days a week and I have cut back on that since working because I didn't have the energy to do that. And it's been really great. I've gone because I want to and not because I feel the obligation to. So I'm still really getting those mental health benefits. I feel like I'm keeping a good amount of my muscle as I lose weight and I'm very happy. So let's make some pre-workout. Well, all my natural light is going away. We're closing down the house because it, it's so hot here. So closing down all the blinds and stuff keeps it cooler. Uh, another thing I just wanted to put out there because I told you I would let you know how it went. I made those, uh, what are those Halo Top, the Halo Top cookies, the peanut butter chocolate chip cookies from that haul. I made them last night. Um, taste, I would say what, seven out of 10, seven and a half out of 10 for like a low calorie cookie. Very delicious. Ease of making, 10 out of 10. It was super easy to make. Um, after effects, yeah, terrible. I don't know if it's sugar alcohols that they have in there to make it less sugar, but my stomach, I'm sorry, I'm putting on my socks and shoes. My stomach hurt so bad all night long. Now in the cookies defense, I didn't have to have five of them. You know, I was having a moment and I needed five. Okay, it was 10 points, I needed five. And that might've been the downfall. Maybe if you have one or two, it won't hurt your stomach. Maybe I'll try it tonight. I have a couple left over. Maybe we'll try. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I was in so much pain. I was nauseous. I was gassy. Bad. So, use with caution. I've heard other people not say anything about it, but I just wanted to put it out there just in case you try it and then you have that problem and you're like, well, no one told me. You have been forewarned. So, do with that information what you will. I will show you a one-point cookie that I love. Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. One point per cookie. Are they dessert? Are they breakfast? Are they a snack? The answer is yes to all those things. They are one point each and they are delicious and they are filling and I'm obsessed with them, but they are expensive. So that's the only downfall. All right, I'm, now I'm gonna go, I keep saying we're gonna make the pre-workout. We're, we're gonna do it. I have just over a cup of water. I like more water than what it calls for and I have the Motivate No Stem Burn. This is the Miami Lemonade flavor. As you can tell, I'm almost out. They also have a strawberry kiwi that I like. 
I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in there because it's about a scoop. And then I can get this out of my cabinet. Obviously I use it though. I love this no stem for PCOS because well, number one, if you're sensitive to caffeine, you can still have it, but it has chromium and inositol, inositol, however you want to say it in there, which is great for PCOS. So it helps just with focus and motivation and getting your butt to the gym. If you're tired, I'm going to put some ice and lid because if I try to drink this just straight up, the ice is going to hit my face. I'm going to get it all over me because I'm a toddler. So those cookies, just in case you were wondering. All right, we got our headphones, we got our pre-workout, we got our water, we're ready to go. Since I'm only going to the gym once a week, I just do a full body. What are you doing? What are you doing? It says I'm going to work 39 minutes. <laughs> what are you, what are you working I on? I like it when I get in the car and it says like, going to Panda or like- Does it do that? Yeah, I got off last night, it thought I was going to Taco Casa. <laughs> That's when it you know I you have a problem. It was awesome, <laughs> I love that place. <laughs> Uh, I got, I'm gonna do chest and tries today. It's been, it's been a little while. Work's been kicking my ass over Labor Day weekend, but that's cause I was a, probably a little bit under the weather. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a little chest and tries today, no big deal. So October 2nd is our 14th wedding anniversary. Can you believe we're old enough to be married 14 years? I got you, you little baby. A little baby. Baby. You suck me in. To the vortex. Best thing ever happen if you're just now getting started in your journey do not add working out like get your food situation under control it is overwhelming to start everything at once i probably waited about six months before i did any kind of real activity other than like if i felt like going for a 15 minute walk i would do that but anything more than that i really wouldn't do um and then maybe just work on your walking for a bit unless you got a lot of time yeah unless you got a lot of time but mentally i feel like when you first start especially if you've yo-yo dieted your whole life mentally it, you're already taking up enough time stressing about all the things <laughs> at least i was and overthinking things so you know just go easy on yourself don't push working out if you're not ready to do it you don't have to do it but i like to separate working out from weight loss i don't work out to lose weight i work out to maintain muscle mass so i don't get osteoporosis so i have healthy joints so i have mental health all those things that's why i work out not for weight loss i don't do it for the activity points but you best believe i will eat those activity points you know what i'm saying so that's our little side note to you okay he's getting gas so we can talk for just another second i'm sorry i've been so chatty but again i have new people here who don't know and who might be confused by like i have weight watchers content then a breakaway watchers content and then now more weight watchers content i had gotten on weight watchers uh, i stopped losing weight the last two months i was on weight watchers because i started birth control but i didn't realize the connection um so i was just thinking it was the new program because it was around the same time of the new program i was thinking it wasn't getting enough calories i was overthinking everything stop weight watchers started tracking calories did not have success started tracking macros and then my mental health went like straight down from tracking macros i'm not the kind of person who can track every single thing i eat all the time and feel good mentally uh it, it triggers me into binge eating and um it's just not something that works for me if it works for you and you can do it with and like have good mental health and great it just doesn't work for me that's one thing i like about weight watchers is i do not track my zero point foods sometimes i'll do it on these videos just so you can see that yes it is zero point foods but like for the day to day if it's a zero point food i don't track it half the time if it's something like i know i had two coffees in my oatmeal um i don't even track it individually i know that that's four points and so i'm just going to quick add four points so I'm still on track, but mentally I'm not having to like constantly be exhausted by determining every little thing I eat. Now, obviously if it's something where I don't know how many points it's going to be, I, I weigh things, I track things, um, but that's just kind of what I do. Anyways, took a break and, but I started, just kept gaining weight. Uh, that could have been birth control. I could have been trying all the other things, but it didn't work for me. So I quit my husband realized hey this all started happening when you start birth control so i stopped birth control and then got back on weight watchers and that's where we are now so there that's why we had a break in weight watchers content and i've gotten back on weight watchers and now you've seen i've lost almost all the weight i had gained back over being off of weight watchers the last what seven eight months i'm happy to be back i'm really happy with the program so that's just a quick caveat of where we are now
I always start my workout with about five minutes of stretching. Also did a little bit of glute activation moves before my workout. Then I went into goblet squats. And my goal is to do three sets. And then I go anywhere from eight to 12 reps, just depending on how hard it is. I kind of let my body tell me like, okay, and you're done. Or yeah, I can do a couple more. I want to really, really push those last couple moves that I do. And then I did this as a superset. So then I went straight into this tricep move without taking a break. And then when I was done with doing the squats and the triceps, then I took a break and I did that two more times. Then I went into chest press. You can see I'm trying to alternate between upper and lower body with each move. And again, I did three sets and I did about 12 in each set. Then I took a moment to objectify my husband as he was working out and looking good. And he judged me. Then I went on with the back movement. I wanted to do the like the pull down back, but that machine was busy. It was busy there today. So sometimes you just go to a different machine to uh, get the muscle group that you want. And you can see here how it feels at the end. You really push through. Then I did calf raises with me having the tendonitis. Making sure I'm focusing on calf strength is a key. It's supposed to be one of the helps, and I think it has been helping. So I actually do this calf move three different ways, all back to back. So I do regular with my toes pointed forward. Then I point my toes inward, do 12 that way. And then I point my toes outward and do 12 that way. And I'm telling you, this freaking hurts. It is a calf burner for sure. And then I do three sets of this. You can do this whole workout with some dumbbells if you want. Instead of using that back machine that I used, you could just do uh, rows with the dumbbells and then you'd have a full body workout here with dumbbells at your house if you want. Uh, then I did a Arnold press, which you do a bicep curl and then you go into a shoulder press. I love doing this move because it gets my shoulders and biceps done all in the same one. And I feel like it gets my abs a little bit too because I have to stabilize my body, so. That's a win for me. Then I went into a B stance Romanian deadlift. So all the weight is on the leg that's in the front. And this is a butt burner for sure. And, you know, RDLs are great. Make sure you protect your lower back. If it's hurting at all, stop. Uh, focusing on pushing those hips back instead of bending over will help. After doing both sides, I went and did some mobility and stretching at the end. But that room was pretty full, so I did not record myself doing that. But make sure you stretch. I went on a little lunch date with my husband to Chipotle. I got a combination of pinto and black beans and skipped the rice. I got some fajita vegetables, barbacoa, lettuce, about half a scoop of the medium salsa. And then I got a side order of guacamole and put about a third of it on my bowl here. And then counted out 12 chips. I like to eat them as nachos. We are back from Chipotle. It's on the way home from our gym, so that just kind of seems to be what we do. We took a big break from it for a couple months because we were literally eating it like twice a week, and uh, I got burnt out. But we just started going back, and it's really great. It is lower points. I just say spend the points on what you think is important to you. If you really like cheese, spend the points on cheese. Um, I have the cheese with lactose, so I don't do a lot of cheese and stuff anyway, so I just skip it. Uh, if you want rice, get rice, but because beans are zero points, I'd rather get both types of beans and skip the rice so I don't have those points uh, because it's not something that makes that big of a difference to me, uh, which is the great thing about Weight Watchers. You can kind of pick and choose what works for you. It's going to be different than what works for me. So now that I'm back from the gym, I'm going to have my Motivate Recovery. This is BCAAs. BCAAs are something that help your muscles recover uh, so you're not as sore, and I get very, very sore. Um, this is the pineapple mango flavor. This is my favorite. Um, I do have a discount code if you're wanting to try anything from Motivate. Uh, I'll put it on the screen here. Just save yourself some money. I have an affiliate link that's down below where I do earn a small amount of commission if you buy something through that link, but you do not have to. You can just use that discount code to save yourself some money. Um, that's the only affiliate link I have. Yvette, Sports, and all the other ones. I don't make any money if you buy that, y'all. Um, I just recommend it because I really love the brands. And they will send me the products to review for you. 
Uh, so I get the like the free clothes from Yvette, but if I didn't like Yvette, I wouldn't want the free clothes from Yvette, if that makes sense. Uh, but again, I don't make any money off that. I'm never going to tell you to buy something that I don't think is worth your money or that I wouldn't buy myself personally. I was already buying BCAAs before I started working with this company and now I just get it through this company. I feel like they have really great products. Uh, the ingredient labels are really small, <laughs> which I like. Uh, and they're, it's a woman owned company. And I just really am happy with the results I get from them. So that's why I work with them. So that's what it looks like. It tastes like a one of those clear pineapple dum-dums. I'm gonna put some ice in it. Back to Chipotle. I always go there thinking like this is the day I'm gonna finish this bowl. I'm gonna eat all this right now. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat it all. And about halfway through, every time I'm like, she's done, she's done. I just listened to my hunger cues on that. I only saved two points by saving the rest of it because so much of it was zero point foods. But there's no point in hurting your stomach because you're eating so much. Like zero points foods still have calories. So listen to your hunger cues on that. If I'm hungry, I'm gonna keep eating it. Um, if I'm hungry later, I'll probably get some watermelon or a banana or something with zero points. Um, I use a lot of zero point foods as sides. Um, so I can have something that has a little bit more points as my main part of my meal and then use the sides as zero points. Um, zero points still have calories, but mentally for me, it really, really helps because when you're counting calories, when you're out of calories, you're out of calories, like that's it. And so I feel like that creates more of a uh, restricted mentality for me, where if I'm out of points, I still have a ton of foods I can eat and feel satisfied from and that I enjoy. So for me, mentally, I don't feel so rigid. So I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna go lay down and maybe take a nap. I don't take a lot of naps. Um, even when I go to work at four in the morning, I don't normally come home and take a nap. But there's just something about working out that booty. You know, it just needs a nap after. So, and by it, I mean me. Me and my booty need a nap. So I'm gonna go, I might not lay, I might not actually fall asleep, but I'm gonna go lay down after drinking. Then we'll continue on with snacks and dinner and shenanigans. I edited for about an hour and a half and then I was ready for a snack. So I had a combination of cantaloupe and watermelon for zero points. Keeping fruit ready to go is a great way to stay on track. Now it's time to make dinner. I'm gonna start off with two cups of cabbage, two limes, a half a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of cilantro. I chose broccoli as a side. I forgot to put out the pineapple. I bought pineapple and forgot to use it. And then eight of the low carb tortillas, some Jamaican jerk seasoning. I bought mine because I'm too lazy to make it. And I'm gonna need about three chicken breasts. And again, don't forget the pineapple, just a little bit to top off your tacos. First, we're gonna make the sauce, which is half a cup of mayo. We're gonna add two teaspoons of that Jamaican jerk seasoning and give this a stir. We're gonna remove half of this into a sandwich bag, fold down those edges so they don't get all sloppy and mayo-y. And just remove this to the side. This is gonna to be to drizzle it on our tacos later, but we wanna use this bowl for our slaw. So this part needs to go, ready for a drizzle, my nizzle. And then we're gonna add the slaw to the rest of the mayo. I probably could have added that entire bag and it would have been fine. Uh, we're gonna add one half of a lime juiced, about a tablespoon of cilantro and salt and pepper to taste and give it a stir. And let this set to the side and kind of do its thing while you're cooking the rest of it. I'm not a big fan of coleslaw, but I love it on tacos and burgers and things like that. Now we're gonna get our side ready, which I chose broccoli. So I'm going to just spray my air fryer with some avocado spray, pour in the frozen broccoli, break up any big chunks that there might be, and then spray it again with avocado oil, and then add salt and pepper. I'm using kosher salt. It's a lot less salty than table salt, and I think it's a better choice for cooking. So just a little tip for me to you. And I'm using about a teaspoon of that jerk seasoning, and I'm gonna air fry it on 380 for about 14 minutes, making sure I stir it halfway through. Now we are ready to beat the heck out of our chicken and I have my pan on right now so that it's getting really hot. So when I'm done with my chicken, it's ready to go ahead and sear in the pan. You really wanna beat this chicken really, really thin. I did not get mine thin enough, so I had to finish mine in the air fryer. Uh, so get it really thin so it sears and within three to four minutes on each side, it's cooked through. But if you're like me, you can just sear on each side and then finish it off in the air fryer. It took about seven minutes in the air fryer on 360 once I had it seared. Make sure you season both sides of that really well. You can add salt on the chicken as well if you want. I did not, just because that seasoning does have salt in it. 
and we want some good color, good flavor on these, so don't move them until they're ready to flip. This recipe is in the description box and there's a link to go straight to Weight Watchers uh, app and it will like load it up for you. So you can just apply it to your dinner or what have you. Once our chicken is completely cooked through, we are going to let it sit on the cutting board for about five minutes because we want juicy chicken, not sad dried out chicken. Once your chicken has rested, then you can slice it into really thin slices. I did not cut my third chicken because it's left over. I left it whole so that way I can just air fry it when we're ready to eat it later because I think it warms up a little bit easier. We're gonna add our chicken and our slaw to our tortillas. If you want it to look really pretty, add the slaw first. Then we're gonna drizzle over with the mayo. And then I did add lime to mine, but I did it like while I was eating it and I forgot to put the lime on the plate for this little video. Please forgive me, there is lime. And don't forget the freaking pineapple, you know? I was very upset. I had my last half of the taco had pineapple on it and it was delicious. So there we have it. We have our broccoli and our two tacos for five points, y'all. Five point dinner. It was so filling. Here it looks. If you like cilantro, add some more cilantro to the top with your little lime. It's so pretty. I had mine with a zero sugar Dr. Pepper because it's delicious. I am ready for dessert. So I'm gonna have some of this pumpkin spice decaf coffee. I have one point worth of my creamer. I'm gonna put nine grams of this fat-free ready rip for zero points. Oh, no one saw that. I feel like that didn't happen. I'm gonna do a little sprinkling of cinnamon. And I'm gonna have two cookies. I am going to be working on trying to make these myself mainly because they're so expensive and my husband keeps telling me to try. So we're gonna see if we can come up with our own want version that tastes as good and is as low in points. So we'll see how that goes, but here we are. So this is three points. That means I have three points left for the day. I'm just not gonna use them. You can have four points roll over. So uh, like if you had six points they didn't use, only four of them would roll over for the next day. If you have your rollovers turned on, I plan on using those tomorrow. Me and my daughter are gonna have a little mommy-daughter date. So they will be used tomorrow for sure. And uh, that's it for me. I'm gonna eat, drink, and take a shower. Cause I need a shower. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. I have heard all of you say yes, more videos. Yes to, to dinner plans and all that. So I am planning on incorporating that coming up. I just need a little time to do it cause I'm working four days this week, four days next week. You get it. So I'm going to be working on it. It'll be a priority. Bye y'all.